So when you built this OS, this multi-touch gestural OS for fingers, you didn't do it in a tablet right away. You did it in the phone. What was the, I mean, did you consider doing a tablet when you did the iPhone, or, or was it just a natural progression? The iPhone came out, it was a big hit. I'll actually tell you kind of a secret. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I actually started on the tablet first. I had this idea of being able to get rid of the keyboard, type on a multi-touch glass display, and I asked our folks, could we come up with a multi-touch display that I could, we could type on, I could rest my hands on and actually type on. And about six months later, they called me in and showed me this prototype display. And uh, I gave it to one of our other really brilliant uh, UI folks, and he called me back a few weeks later, and he had inertial scrolling working. When I saw the rubber band, inertial scrolling, and a few of the other things, I thought, my God, we can build a phone out of this. And I put the tablet project on the shelf because the phone was more important. And we went and took the next several years and did the iPhone. So and then... And when we, got our, when we got our wind back and uh, thought we could take on something next, pulled the tablet off the shelf, took everything we learned from the phone, and went back to work on the tablet. So where does the tablet go from here? Now, w among the many things that people think it's going to do is save journalism. That was, you know, there was a big, there's a lot of stories about you going to visit publishers and talking about it being the hope of journalism. How, do you consider that a goal of yours or anything that's important to you, or is it just that magazines look real pretty on it? One of my beliefs very strongly is that any democracy depends on a free, healthy press. Some of these newspapers are, the news gathering and editorial organizations are really important. I don't want to see us descend into a nation of bloggers myself. I think we need editorial more than ever right now. So anything that we can do to help the New York Times and the Washington Post, the Wall Street Journal, and other uh, news gathering organizations um, find new ways of expression so that they can afford to get paid, so they can afford to keep their news gathering and editorial operations intact, I'm all for. What we have to do is figure out a way to uh, get people to start paying for the, this hard-earned content. Um, and so this provides us a potential opportunity to provide them even more value than just a web page and to start to charge a little bit for that. I'm trying to get these folks to take more aggressive postures than what they charge traditionally for print because they don't have the expenses of printing, they don't have the expenses of delivery, um, and to, uh, to charge a reasonable price and go for volume. Now, because I think people are willing to pay for content. And when you did your presentation on the iPad, you said it's like, you know, here's your phone, here's your laptop, here's this third category. And if it's not better than a netbook, if it's not of value to people, it's not going to succeed. Mm -hmm. And people have to feel like it's not an extra thing to carry. They have to feel like it's enough of the time going to replace enough of the things they do on their laptop, not necessarily 100%. Mm -hmm. Is the tablet going to be eventually replace the laptop, do you think? PCs are going to be like trucks. They're still going to be around. They're still going to have a lot of value, but they're going to be used by one out of X people. And this transformation is going to make some people uneasy. People from the PC world, like you and me. It's going to make us uneasy because uh, the PC's taken us a long ways. It's brilliant. But and we like to talk about the post-PC era, but when it really starts to happen, I think it's uncomfortable for a lot of people and because it's change, and a lot of vested interests are going to change, and it's going to be different. So I think that we're embarked on that. Uh, is it the iPad? Who knows? Will it happen next year or five years from now or seven years from now? Who knows? But I think... We're, we're heading well, you don't really direction. think it's going to happen next year, right? I mean, it's a longer process than that, isn't it? Sure. And what do you imagine? 